Hello everyone and welcome to this virtual open house for film editing and design. I am your instructor, your humble servant, your Caesar of cinema, your producer and director of pandemic dystopia, and your Jedi Master. I am Mr. Fairbanks. <laughs> Oh yeah, such an epic class deserves an epic intro, am I right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the kinds of things we'll be doing. You might be wondering, why take film from this guy? Well, first of all, I started my own little business a few years ago with my wife. It's called Pinup Productions. We film weddings, we do senior videos, we do uh, senior photos, we do all kinds of different things, both photography and film. And from that experience, I've been able to put together a class geared towards using film creatively and also for business purposes, to be able to use use in your future career. I've been teaching this class for 10 years now. I've got 15 years of working in film and marketing, and I've got 33 years of being a film fanatic, a cinephile. You see, I still remember one of my very first memories was when I watched the end credits for Star Wars Episode Four. I don't remember the rest of the movie, but I remember Star Wars Episode Four the end credits. That was one of my first memories, and it's a great memory, because from there, a deep appreciation of film developed. So now I'm going to give you just a quick little video to show you some of the things that we will be doing here in film. <laughs> Mr. Duvall. Mr. Duvall. <laughs> Man. We're going to be doing a lot of exciting things in film this year, and my hope is that even with the pandemic and remote instruction and all these other things we're trying to deal with right now, that this class will give students the opportunity to find their forte. Now you might be wondering, what is a forte? Well, a forte is a thing at which someone excels. The thing is, we'll be teaching a lot of 
different types of skills in this class, but the fact is that this is something that should appeal to everyone, and you don't have to be good at all of them. That's the beauty of it. One thing we'll be getting into right away is film analysis and studying film as an art form. We'll also practice photography and cinematography skills, learning how to use your camera beyond just your phone, but using other more technically based and professional cameras as well. We'll also be doing an acting seminar, giving students a chance to break out of their shells a little bit and find a new talent potentially. Also getting into directing and editing. We also do some screenplay writing, so giving students a chance to write their imaginations onto the page that then turns into a creative film that they make with their peers or by themselves. And then we have production design, costuming and makeup, something that is a critical component of any fantastic film. But this is not just a creative art. We also are going to be doing film as a practical art that can be used in the workplace depending on what career you choose. Modern businesses are dying to find young people that know how to use film and technology to help boost their digital presence around the globe and on the internet. And so website design is going to be something that we'll dabble with a little bit. Also get into some marketing projects to not only promote things that we're doing in the class but help promote the Billings Catholic School System as well by doing marketing projects for them. Now our playbook, some of the things we're using is professional video editing editing software. Final Cut Pro is the same kind of software that uh, big production companies use, professional companies are using. It's what I use for my professional editing as well. We'll also use Pixelmator and Polar, which are um, very inexpensive methods of doing some photo editing. If possible, we, we might even get a crash course on how to use Lightroom. And then we've got GarageBand and Logic Pro 10 to be able to use for music editing software. Now our major projects include skill building original films. We watch films in order to to learn how to mimic those films and then turn them into our own projects. In order to do that, we have to appreciate film as an art form. So we will watch films in class as an art form. That means that parents do need to sign a permission slip, by the way, because some of the films are rated R, but they will not have any nudity. We will also have photography portfolios that students will take on their own and then edit and then post onto their websites as they create them. And an original music catalog for those that are more musically inclined. And finally, at the end of the year, God willing, assuming that we can get through the pandemic and any other struggles that might happen with budget cuts and you name it, we're hoping to premiere a big film. So the goal is every year to have a big film that we can show at the end of the year at the Art House Theater here in Billings. A few years ago, we made a sitcom called The Classroom, which was based on The Office and involves some kooky characters and a teacher who was obsessed with Ellen and the Ellen DeGeneres show. We also had films like Above the Empire, a dystopian action film edited and filmed and written by high school students. Then we also, a year before that, had a film called Kameraden, which was a World War I historical film giving a perspective on what it's like when enemies unite on the battlefield and realize they have more in common than they thought. Our biggest film to date, however, is the story of a young man who is in a car accident and lost his memory. And find his way back to his real friends that were there for him at a time when he desperately needed them. The film is called Impromptu. We had a lot of fun making it. We also took it to the Montana International Film Festival in 2019, and our hope is that our next big film could be something like that, where we put a lot of time and effort into it, we have a public display of it at a premiere, and then potentially get it into a film festival as well. That's the goal of this class. If you check out the Internet Movie Database, by the way, you'll find um, some fun little references to our work that we've done, such as with The Classroom or also with Impromptu. To. So if you're a student that is taking this class, thank you for signing up for this because we're going to have some fun. We're going to find ways to put your imaginations out there for the world to see and do some incredible creative work. And then if you're a parent, thank you for giving your student the chance to be able to be in this class as well and hopefully learn some things that will have lifelong impact. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. You can also check out my website or my Schoology. Uh, the website is shanefairbanks.com. Me. Dot com. You log on to there and you can see all the different events and uh, activities that we're up to, as well as links to your students' work.